I know a lot of people have talked about Brazil and then the bitter part of it and things like that, but I, for you, as a public official, what did you learn from that? What, what really was the big lesson that you learned from that? And also, what about you that you heard that really struck you, that you, what, you get into your head like, no, this is not me, I mean. Okay, so with the benefit of hindsight, I probably shouldn't have. You know, it, government is government. If the government and the president say we don't have money, who cares? You understand me? Yeah. I should have just left it. You know, it, they would have said whatever they want to say, but it would have saved me a lot of headache. It's not worth it. I am, and I will advise, and I've been saying this, that the current minister in this economic crisis, hey, don't bother our supporters. You want to go and watch the World Cup, you can start working. Part through the desert, you get there. <laughs> if you have your own money, get your ticket and go. So those were the lessons, of course, and fortunately enough, the commission was a blessing in disguise. Because the they were all manner of, yes, they were, they were manner of you know, wild stories. I'll give you just a few. There was a story that my wife was a caterer. I mean, so you ask the question, what are some of the things that when yeah. I heard, I mean, my wife, she has absolutely nothing to do with cooking. The only reason why she went was because we buried her mother three weeks earlier. So I took my wife and my two kids because the other one was in boarding school. So I took, I bought the ticket myself, Air Portugal, and took them. It was not a government expense, but it was a story out there. They said my mother was in charge of what the uh, replica jerseys. Yeah. What they didn't know is that my mother doesn't even live in Ghana. My mother has never lived in Ghana since I was six months old. She doesn't know the difference between corner kick and penalty. She has no <laughs> idea. So when I told her, mommy, they said, you are in charge of replica jail. She said, what is that? She has no idea. You know, some of the stories. Some wild, wild stories. Coconut. Yeah. You know, I woke up one day and there was uh, one of the papers with me sitting with some ministers and things with coconut in front of us. And he said the coconut was, uh, some said it was $200, $2,000. There was nothing about coconut. I drink coconut always. I, I mean, I'm a healthy, conscious person. So coconuts, uh, the camp, coconuts were virtually free. And even if you buy, it's less than $1. Nothing, all manufactured. It was later that I got to know that there were some unseen hands behind it. But, you know, um, I keep saying that if those things had not happened, and especially if the commission had not been put in place, and the reports officially there, which shows clearly there was, I was audited by Ends and Young. Ends and Young, you know what it means to be? Forensic audits. By yeah. Ernst, they were asking for receipts for water. And we provided everything. By the time I was leaving office, the World Cup money itself, which government gave to us, $4.444 million was left in the account. So when I sit back, I said, this was a blessing in disguise because there's a report that vindicates me, that shows everything that we spent, accounted for and everything. So hallelujah, we thank God. Mm -hmm.